Hi everyone, today I'm sharing another layout for Pear Tree Cut Files, this time using two cut files, the Just Run and also the Icicles, um, to document a icy run that I went on. So I've cut the icicles from a patterned paper um, and I'm using a Hip Kit Club um, collection for this, so it's a mix of both the December, the November and December kits. So for the Just Run, I'm simply backing the cut file with different patterned papers and um, the trainers there's a lot of detail uh, that Marie's managed to get on them and you'll see they're ideal for using small scraps such as uh, manufacturing strips and things like that. So to do this I've just drawn around the outside and inside of each piece that I want to uh, back and then I'm just cutting it out with my scissors. So I do find it easier to do um, the words all in one piece, um, but maybe when you're starting out, um, it's possibly easier just to do it letter by letter. I just find it a bit quicker to do it like this. So I've just pulled out some different scraps. I'm just looking at what I want colour wise. So I'm going to uh, use the same pattern to add some detail into the shoes for the stripes. And then I'm using kind of a pink and blue tone um, for this layout, kind of a bit of a wintry feel. But a non-traditional festive feel because it's not, not to do with Christmas. So as you can see I'm just using small snippets of that manufacturing strip to do where the laces are in the trainers. So it takes a bit of time to get this uh, done but it's really worth it in the end because you get a really nice uh, pattern to the trainer. Because it's so small you want um, simple patterns and nothing too bold um, or large because otherwise you won't get the uh, feel of the pattern. So for the trainer itself I actually wanted something um, a little bit of a neutral um, so I've got this patterned paper that's got um, a subtle design to it for the main body of the shoe. And there we go, that's the Just Run cut file backed um, and I'm starting with that white cardstock and my idea is, is to kind of layer up both cut files along with my photos. So I'm going to use this um, 6 by 12 inch piece of patterned paper. I'm going with the uh, icy blue side rather than the dots and it's got some kind of snowflake patterns on it. And then I want the icicles to be kind of dripping down off that piece of uh, paper and to give it a bit of bling and make it sparkle like icicles do I'm adding some stickles um, actually in um, a glue called icicle so I'll put that to one side to dry and I'm just adding some foam pads to the back of uh, the just run cut file so that it stands up off the page and now I'm getting a feel for where I want things on the page. So once the stickles are dry I'm just adding the icicles 
um, and popping foam pads underneath the little bits where it's dropping down to give uh, some dim dimension but the top bit is flat so that when I stick the trainer and the just run tight all over the top and um, that stands up against it so I'm putting my title over to the left hand side so that allows me a space just on top of the icicles to to layer my photos so it creates kind of a bit of a shelf for them so I'm just looking at some embellishment now I've pulled out some of these die cut pieces from the hip kit club and then this wooden um, white snowflake that came on a gift at Christmas um, and that's some headphones so I just thought it went well with the kind of running feel um, I'm just adding some snowflake die cuts on foam pads again to give a bit more lift um, So I've pulled that pink one and I've put the pink one um, to the bottom of the page so it kind of pulls that pink from the title and the trainers all the way down uh, to the bottom. I've added some dots of glue and I'm just popping some blue sequins um, again to get, give a bit of bling to the layout. So this layout's nearly done. Um, thank you for joining me today over on YouTube and you can check out more cut file inspiration over in the pear tree cut files group and also over on instagram i'll pop the links below